about what you're doing or saying because just by looking at you, they could be taking a picture of you. Facebook is paired up with the designer brand to create smart glasses. You might remember Googly, Google miserably failed at making these a couple of years ago, but these allegedly are better. One concern remains is privacy. Several privacy experts have come out in support of the glasses, but when you dig a little deeper, you realize most of those privacy experts are funded by Facebook themselves. Judy Kurtz of The Hill joins us now. So, Judy, would you want these glasses to begin with? Oh, I have to say, Leave them. the glasses do yeah, look cool. cool, but Facebook's handling of this launch and privacy concerns maybe not so cool. Uh, but I also should say that it's not exactly a shocker that Facebook isn't seeing 2020 when it comes to privacy concerns. Okay, so as we understand it, what do the glasses do? The glasses give you uh, the ability to take photos without using your hands. You can speak to the glasses to get them to take a photo. You can also push a button uh, on, the, on the glasses to get them to take photos. You can take videos. Um, but that raises a lot of privacy concerns for folks who might just see you with a pair of glasses on and unknowingly uh, be filmed. Facebook says that the glasses have a recording light uh, that comes on when you are recording to let other people know. It doesn't exactly take a MacGyver type or a tech savvy person uh, to fashion some duct tape, I would say, over that recording light uh, to lose the ability to let other people know that you are recording them. Looks like a Sharpie could work too. Um, Sharpie but, works but the, as well. The idea is, is that the, the New York Times wrote this big review of these glasses and talked to privacy experts and the privacy groups are funded by Facebook. Are all privacy groups now funded by Facebook? How would we know? Yeah, the key issue here really is disclosure. It seems that Facebook basically tried to bamboozle the press uh, by putting forth these privacy groups that seem like independent panels and arbiters, when in fact they're on the Facebook payroll. I, I expected so much more from Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> well, this is classic Mark Zuckerberg, where he sort of builds this universe and then tries to control everything within that universe. We saw that, of course, with the years of criticism Facebook has received over um, accusations of bias. They uh, hire some fact checkers who may or may not be fair. Uh, same thing goes for banning former President Trump on the platform. That decision was made by the oversight board of Facebook. And who appoints the oversight board? Well, that's Mark Zuckerberg as well. And now he's creating this, uh, I think the goal here is to create this uh, AR world, augmented reality, and control that too. Real quick, in, in 15 seconds or so, when, do we, when can people buy these glasses? In other words, when should we all be worried that somebody's recording us with their Ray-Bans? <laughs> you should be worried right about now because okay. they <laughs> okay. they're going on sale. So watch out for those Ray-Bans. All right, uh, Judy, great conversation. Thanks. Thanks so much, Leland. All right. Before we head off to the